I love this question because uh, it comes from this side. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to read it uh, Mila by Mila. It's wonderful. On Thursday night, I look back at the week. Man, you have to hear this is what's going on in their minds. <laughs> I look back at the week. I did laundry. I cooked supper. I sent kids to school. What makes me special? The guy and all do the same thing. Meaning, you have your avoider, you go, you dive with a minion, Kriya Satoira, you learn, you do that me, you're involved in community, and then we leave the women at home to be that Karas Abayis, and we know that there's Halakite in everything that we do, but at the end of the day, you also want to feel it. You want to feel that what you're doing has Halakite, has Kedusha, and it's not just mundane. It's not just something that, you know, when they say Shalasana Isha, you know why? Because we get to do all this stuff, and you get to do the laundry. <laughs> so it's, a, it's an incredibly, incredibly important question. The reason I, I'm... I, I'm looking at this, and I, I just feel like, I know time is running out, but I once sat down with the daughter of a Rosh Hashiva, whose husband was also a Rosh Hashiva, and she asked me the same question. Now, if your father's a Rosh Hashiva, and your husband's a Rosh Hashiva, and this still bothers you, so we need to explain, and you don't, it's not good if you feel like we're apologizing for you. It's called apologetics. Taka, what do you do to make you feel, to make you feel like what you're doing is incredibly important for the world. You know, a surgeon washes his hands and a worker washes his hands. Both of them washed hands, except that the surgeon is now going to open up somebody's heart and do a heart transplant. And the washing the hands is going to save the hands from having bacteria on them that would kill the patient. And the other guy just didn't get the railing dirty because he washed his hands. The very fact that you do something similar to a guy, to a mundane person, means nothing. It means nothing. And this is what we have to internalize. What we do is only important because we think, what is the tafkid? Everything that we do in life is for what reason? It's to bring HaKadosh Baruch Hu down to the world. It's for Gilu Yishchina. Gilu Yishchina means everything that I do will show Zekei Livian Veyu. This is my Hashem. And if you do the most heilige thing, but you do it without Zekei Veyu, then you're just going to Mitzvah Anashim Lumada. But if you have in mind, if you understand that when you make food, you're not just a chef in some Italian pizza parlor, but you are sustaining a family whose very purpose is for Gilu Yishkina, and you feel it, and you know it, I can't change what you do. Just like I can't change a, a person who's a bus driver. But if you're just driving a bus, it's one thing. But if you're driving a bus, bus to bring Kindalach to the Cheder so they should learn Torah, then you didn't just drive a bus. You brought people closer to Hashem. You were Megal HaShchina. And when you make a supper, and your Kindalach who came home from learning in Cheder all day, and your husband who worked in Parnassah or learned in Kol is now besimcha and they can sustain themselves and it creates reus and shalom bias and love then you're, you're Aaron Akoyim in the Beis HaMikdash bringing an oil as Tomid it's, it's no different and that's otherwise we can't go on with life if we say well everyone does this no it's not true Anu Mashkimim Vehem Mashkimim we both get up we're getting up and every single thing we do my wife 
has a minute. She took it on herself. I never asked her to. Every morning she brings me a coffee to wake me up. And what she does is amazing. Like, except for Shabbos morning, I bring her the coffee. <laughs> but every morning, and if I'm so tired, I drink and I plop back into bed, she brings a second one. She's a special person. But she's not bringing me coffee for coffee. She understands that I do claw work. And I get very, very tired. And she, her chalik in the claw work is watching me awake, saying, no, Ben Sian, get up. You got you got the claw work to do. And I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make the shirt nice because you have to stand in front of people. And I tell him how she usually kiss him big day, chayiv mis, it's awful. It's a chil Hashem. And she looks at me and she's like She'll clean it up. You have to. You have to represent Hashem. This is not apologetics. Yisoy v'shar shalbaida says this is how we have to live our lives because it's not what we do, but it's why we do it. A person can do something and it's for nothing. It's l'be'er shachas. Or a person can even go to sleep. And if they haven't, Zim says he saw Jesh Havayda before they go to sleep. He need Muchan and Mazuman to go to sleep so I can be awake to wake up my Kindalach so that they will be on time. Then every moment of your Drimmel, every moment of your Shluf, you get Schar that even the Malachim can't imagine. So the secular world wants us to believe you put the woman in their place and they do the cooking and the cleaning. And we say, you know what? It was a fight in the Beis Mikdash. Who would be able to do the better kabais? Everyone wanted to because they understood you're not just cleaning the Mizbeach, you're not just cleaning, but I get to clean the Mizbeach. I get to go to Beis Mikdash and clean it. People fought for the honor. If there was a Choshava, if there was a president who was coming, wouldn't you want to make him his coffee? The president, you make it just so. Because it's choshev, like a little latte to foam on top, a little cinnamon. I want, I want him to because it's a choshev thing. So why are your kindalach any less important than Donald Trump? You're so excited to give Donald Trump a cereal. Be excited to give Maishi and Yankee a cereal because you know what they're going to do with it? They'll have energy. It'll go into their bones and their blood. And next time the Rebbe says, what's the plots of what's the taich? They're going to know. They'll be alert and awake because you made sure that they were fed in the morning. You made sure that they left without stress to the bus. You're a, you, you are a shutaf with Hashem. This is not apologetic. This is how we have to live our lives. Otherwise, we're, we're, we're daydreaming. So never, never, never look at what you do as mundane. That's what's so special. Chaviv in Yisrael, it says in Perki Avos, that we are Shaniku Banim Lamakai. We are Banim. We are the children of Hashem. So every single thing we do, we do for the greatest king, the Melech Machem Lachem. There's nothing that we do that's mundane not getting dressed, not eating, not cleaning, not making parnosa. You don't need to sit in front of a toaster to feel like you like. You don't need to. You just need to have in zinin that everything you do is to love Hashem and to create Gilu Yishchina. And if you do that, you're going to feel so great. You're going you're gonna to understand that, every, that you lived a life of mitzvah, even if it means scrubbing the yellow off of the collar. It's a mitzvah. It is a mitzvah, and you should never feel it's anything less than a coin goggle in Kotche Kodashim.